Okay, we've got the front cover on, we've got our engine set up with the belt drive, and uh, we discovered from yesterday when we were doing some running checks that we needed this little um, plate on here to direct some of the flow back into our catch tray. And uh, the oil that's collected in there is then using an electric pump is pumped back to the, our temporary tank. So um, we've got the gauges hooked up, so we'll uh, fire up the engine and get it turning. Ronnie will check the gauges, make sure that uh, we've got the pressures and um, we'll have a look at it uh, running and seeing the pistons flying up and down, see how we go. Okay, well that was alright. The uh, engine's nice and smooth, as we discovered yesterday, the balancings are really good. But um, one of the problems I've got is there's a lot of leakage from the slip rings that um, control the oil pressure into the crank. And while this is not a problem in itself, it's tending to rob too much oil from the, the cam oil supply. So, from our testing yesterday, uh, it looks like I'm going to have to modify the oil system to um, stop the crank oil pump here robbing too much oil from the cam oil supply. So I'll probably have to put an independent supply to this pump instead of using the other pump to pump up into it. Uh, one thing is that when you increase the pressure at the back on the rear pump, it tends to ramp up the pressure into this pump instead of sending it up to these lines and then it gets to a stage where the relief valve is overwhelmed and flooded and the, uh, the pump can't bypass the oil to reduce the pressure so it tends to keep pumping and, and um, just causing more and more leakage still maintains pressure to the crank but we get too much leakage so it's okay, I, I'll, um, it's difficult to modify but I can um, make that uh, change and then uh, we'll come back to you at a later date, hopefully not too far off 
and um, we'll check it again and see if uh, we've got the result that we want. But the main thing is that we are getting um, at higher RPM. Yesterday we got enough oil up to the cams that we had way too much crank pressure. We had, were up in really 80, 85 psi, which is too high. One thing, good thing about the leakage is that um, it sprays out all over the gear case, and this is very good for lubricating all the drive gears for the cans. So uh, that's a good thing. So once I modify the oil pump intake, I think uh, we'll get a good result. So uh, keep uh, keep your eyes on the website, and we'll um, get back to you in a, in a month or so, and um, see if we've been able to effect a good change. See you later.